What's going on? My day-to-day -day people. Got my people with me, huh? Got my people with me. So, welcome to another blessed day. Continue to show love through hate. All right? This world is turning crazy. That does not mean we have to turn with the world. Let's continue to turn to our Lord. Okay? Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, all praises and glory go to the Most High through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, let's talk about the potter and the clay. Now, if you are familiar with pottery, we all can agree the essence of the art being displayed with clay. The potter performs their work operating a spinning platform or what is commonly known as a potter's wheel. The Most High God of Israel molds his work to perfection in us if we allow to be obedient to his word as well as wanting to seek edification through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, if you will, open your mind and vision the wheel being earth as the world turns, so they say. Let it be known as a blessing for the Lord to know you. Yet the wheel spin Satan wants creation to be all over the wheel with no final presentation of approval in the Lord's eye. Now, Satan wants that wheel to spin and clay be all over the floor, the walls. However, let's continue to stay focused, okay? So take heed to the Holy Spirit that dwells in you to recognize our Father will mold you through trials, conviction, temptations, and day-to-day -day failures of the flesh. Now, we all fall. We all fail daily. There's nobody perfect. But that's why we are to keep our mind, our hearts, and our spirits, everything locked on to the Most High God. Okay? Well, we do not see the formation of ourselves. Keep that in mind. We do not see the formation of ourselves or how we are being molded. So clearly evidence proves Satan sees the work of the Lord in us and wants the clay to slide away from the potter's hands. Now let's go to Genesis 2.7. That's Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Hmm. Clay is from the earth. But who is the potter? Do you acknowledge who the potter is in your life? Okay? All praises. Most definitely all praises. Now let's go to Isaiah. That is uh, chapter 29. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 15 and 16. 15. Woe to those who go to great depths to hide their plans from the Lord, who do work in darkness and think, who sees us? Who will know? 16. You turn things upside down as if the potter were thought to be like clay. Shall what is formed say to who formed it, you did not make me. Can a pot say to the potter, you know nothing? Now, in simple terms, scriptures within these two verses are indicating a rebellious attitude, right? Now, let's go a little further to Isaiah chapter 45, verse 9. It's Isaiah chapter 45, verse 9. Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Let the potsherd strive with the potsherds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it what makest thou or thy work he hath no hands now the potsherd mentioned is a broken fragment of clay right our father is stating that anyone who go against him deliberately can go against each other right so the wicked will take out the wicked i mean that it is what it is what it is the wicked will take out the wicked now little food for thought. Now we see that Adam was formed from the dust of the ground. Now let's coin the term dust to dust. Let's go to Psalm 2215. That's Psalm 
chapter 22, verse 15. All right? Now, my strength is dried up like a pot churn, and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws, and thou hast brought me into the dust of death. There we go with dust to dust. That's for anybody who wants to come against the creation. That's for anybody who pays attention to the creation more than the creator. All right. So the Lord is our maker. Let him mold you into the liking of him in Christ Jesus. All right. The Lord is our maker. Let him mold you into the liking of him in Christ Jesus. And once again, I'm going to continue to pray for the loss. All right. That the loss can be found through random acts of brothers and sisters who are in Christ. I continue to pray for our brothers out here who are seeking the truth that truth can find them. All right. I continue to pray for the nation of Israel that they acknowledge the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as their Messiah. For St. Jude's children and any children out there that, that, that are sick, Lord, um, I just continue to pray for those. I continue to pray for these children. Okay? That godly hands can be rested on them and they, they can be healed and, and made whole. And I continue to pray for the establishments that they're at and within. Okay? That people can still look out for these, these children and show support through the kindness of their heart. Once again, happy Sabbath. Much love. Peace.